Guys, it is part two of our Lake of the Woods adventure. This weekend we're out with houseboat adventures. We have a 68 foot houseboat that we're living on for the weekend. Got my fam, got Jeremy, got dad, got Kyle, and we're walleye fishing right now. Opening weekend on Lake of the Woods and the beauty of living out of a houseboat, fishing out of a houseboat is it moves where we wanna go and we brought it down the lake and we we're in prime walleye territory. So we're gonna see if we can fill the live out with some delicious early season walleyes. Dad is hooked up, ooh, with a walleye, with a walleye and we're hooked. Oh no, oh no, it's big. Number two, We're on a spot, two walleyes. Guys, we've been struggling. That's why you didn't see the camera out, but now we got two walleyes in the past two minutes, so we're gonna bring you in with what's going on. That one, jigging a worm, other fish, jigging a worm. Very, very deadly technique. Switch Bigger your one, jigging style, what you got? all the fish. Oh, you're filling the live well, Dad. I take back all this. those all those shots all I took at you. Talk. That it's right there scissors. is a good eating size. Delicious. There we go. Hey! Kyle's on? What do you think, Kyle? Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, 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 okay. Oh yeah, we probably don't even need to net him. All right, that is gonna be dinner on the houseboat. Jeremy's on, oh. and he's off. Oh, no. Still got him? Don't give him slack. Ooh, nice walleye. Yeah. Oh, nice. look at that. All right. That is a sucker. Oh, no. oh man. That is good for nothing. What is oh. it? Here, Jeremy, hold him up and hold him up. No, I thought it was a walleye. Oh, yeah. Hold him up. A good for nothing fish. Well, they are delicious <laughs> canned, but I don't think we're going to do All that. Right. You want to go back in? Yeah, you can put it back. Go, fish, go! <laughs> that was that was good. Okay, there's fish around. Why are you switching? Oh, on. You got it? Yeah, we're on. Ooh, that's in the eater. Yes! Never been so happy for dinner. That jig is completely gone. Kyle's hooked up. Ooh, oh, good. Net him. Bring him in. Yeah. Right yeah. That's a good one. Kyle's going to show this one to the camera. Biggest walleye yet. Twice the size of everything else. Hold him up for me. There we go. That is, right. that looks big. Good fish. <laughs> nice. Awesome, buddy. Dad's hooked up. Kyle, you can put that one back. Okay, All right, here we go. Even on fire. Good. Are we keeping that one or too small? No, that's. Big as the one you All right, you're gonna flay him then. Hey, you set the polar ones up, man. Shh. That is that is back to back trips getting checked by conservation, um, which is crazy because sometimes you can go years without getting checked. But it's good to see the presence out here on Lake of the Woods. We are quite a ways down the lake, and this guy came from Kenora to check people. So it's good to see. As I said last time, it's what keeps fishing good, and. Uh, yeah, we might get him on a YouTube video, hopefully. I want to do a question and answer thing with you guys, but we'll see. Yeah, there we go. Dad's hooked up. Yo, yo. There we go. Nice. Today is dedicated to my parents because <laughs> mom caught a big muskie and dad is lighting up the walleyes. Nice. Pan sized. You guys didn't see the pain. You're just seeing the baby, but we endured some pain before we got on these. And it's not all about limits when you're fishing, but uh, you know, my family doesn't get to enjoy a lot of uh, fresh fish. So today it is about limits and uh, we have a beautiful evening. Finally, the winds have laid down and we're cracking them. Kyle is hooked up with another one. Kyle with the perfect eater that is going to end off our evening walleye session on Lake of the Woods. Kyle and Laverne carried the team. I tried. Jeremy caught a sucker. Oh yeah! Woohoo! Oh, Jeremy's on. Jeremy's got a decent one too. You're just getting net, net it with the other fish in there. <laughs> Be careful, hold it. Here we go. You won't. This is good, Jeremy. 
Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, go on. Nice. There we go. Talk two some snack. Nice. That's a two for one. Watch your Roger. Talk some trash. <laughs> okay, open your spool. Okay, you guys got to sit down, hold up your two fish. Yeah, you are so dangerous with the rod. 19, 18. All right, kneel down. Kneel down. A little higher. Right on. There we go. Couple nice walleyes to end the day. That is going to fill out our limit. You yeah, guys can throw those in the well. There we go. Amazing double header. Lake of those walleyes. What do you guys think? Ooh. Not bad. Good <laughs> way to end the day. There we go. Awesome. Those are going to be delicious. And we're now headed back to the house. We'll see you guys in a bit. And this is the best part about living on a houseboat is you are close to wherever you want to be. So we're close to the walleyes and uh, we can move wherever we want. We're located on this nice little secluded beach. We've got one more night on this baby. Guys, we made it back to our castle, to our houseboat. We we're on a 68 foot houseboat this weekend. If you guys did not see the video before, I will link it above. That'll give you a tour of the luxury that we're living in. So we're on Lake of the Woods and I do quite a bit of fishing on Lake of the Woods. And the one thing that's tough about Lake of the Woods is there isn't lodges everywhere. And when you want to fish in a specific area, sometimes that means a long run in the morning, long run in the evening from, from Kenora where you're stationed. And the beauty of the houseboat is you decide where you want to fish and you just, move your whole your whole program along with you. So I knew that I wanted to walleye fish in Big Narrows. So I looked at the map here and this map actually comes with uh, with every package when you when you book with them. And it's got all the beaches marked, which is crazy. There's I think 80 beaches marked on here. So I said, okay, I want to fish Big Narrows. Let's find an area close by. So we said, okay, Macrometer Bay looks cool. There's four beaches they've marked in this bay. One kind of for every wind direction. We said, okay, beach 18 looks great. That's where we set up camp, and now we're like a 15 minute boat ride to our fishing area. So, I mean, it's great for hardcore fishing groups, great for family groups. There's a beach behind us, you, you can find hiking trails and stuff. And it's just, it's an experience. I have my boat right here. Whenever I want to go fishing, I can go. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna be back in the boat, and we're gonna end this trip off with some more walleyes. <laughs> Stop. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. What's today? Monday. What does that mean? Home time. Yeah. This is our last day, last morning on the houseboat, actually. And we're making the most of it. At least three of us are. We're going fishing. And uh, we're switching it up. These guys crushed the walleyes yesterday. Today we're gonna do something different. We're gonna look for some Lake of the Woods lake trout. Lake trout fishing on Lake of the Woods can be difficult, but when you score, it's often a pretty good one. So that's the goal. We only got like an hour to fish this morning. So we're gonna head out real quick while the others clean up the houseboat and we're gonna troll for some trout. So here we go. All right, we made it to location number one. Kyle is using the rattle bait. Dad's gonna be using a spoon. Can't really go wrong with trout with a spoon. I'm gonna be using a deeper diving jerk bait. And we're gonna troll. That's the game plan. Uh, water's still cold here on Lake of the Woods. And uh, yeah, it means the lake trail could be shallow. So we're just flatlining, no weights added. Trolling some main lake points and we've got an hour to make some magic happen. Here's a fish, hooked up. All right guys, I knew we only had an hour to fish, but we are hooked up. And I don't know if it's a lake trout or not. It's actually like fighting decently. Amazing morning. It's kind of a shame we have to head back so soon, but we hooked up. So lake trout's my number one hope. If it's not a lake trout, I'd be okay with a walleye. If it's not a walleye, well, I guess we'll settle for a pike. Oh, of course, there you have a beautiful Lake of the Woods pike. Ah, all right, quick trolling tip for you guys. Um, something that is always good when you're, you know, trolling for muskies, lakers, pike, 
uh, kick it in and out of gear, give it a little burst of speed once in a while. Sometimes it's that little change that'll actually trigger the fish. The fish can follow for who knows how long. You can be following you for a mile, and then as soon as you kick it into neutral, or as soon as you start reeling in your bait, that's when they hit. And that's not by coincidence. It's, they want something different. They're not used to a fish swimming in a steady, constant speed. So try switching it up, try zigzagging, kicking it out of gear, giving a little boost, and you might get more bites. All right, that is a wrap for the fishing portion of our trip. And one lure rose to the top, this is what we caught. Uh, most of our walleyes on, this is what mom caught her muskie on. And it's just a jig, jig and a worm, can't go wrong. Um, it is a staple for walleye fishing. And uh, this jig's kind of cool, this is a stand-up style. And it kind of pops up, it pops the hook up in the back and it's really nice for people just dragging a jig along the bottom, keeps that bait up right in their face. Uh, fishing it on a spinning rod. Uh, we had a variety of six foot to seven foot medium light spinning rods. That's, you know, you can't go wrong with that for jigging. Uh, 2500 size spinning reel with seven to 10 pound braid. Uh, 10 pound floral leader, eight pound floral leader, depending on uh, what exactly we were doing. But that's what worked for us. Um, vertically jigging is the best tactic for a big group in the boat when you're taking your family fishing. If you're gonna try trolling or casting, someone might get hooked. Lines are gonna get tangled, so vertically jigging is great for that. But uh, enough talking, we've gotta pack up the house and uh, head back to Kenora. That is a wrap on our Houseboat Adventure, guys. If you wanna check out Houseboat Adventures, they're located right behind me, downtown Kenora. You can go check them out, walk down to the docks. Jeff and Laura Lee are awesome owners. Yeah, such a cool experience, being able to bring everything with us out on the lake, being near where we wanted to fish, where we wanted to beach. If you guys wanna go on a houseboat trip of your own, I will link it below. You get 5% off 44 and 49 foot boats for midweek and a week-long rentals if you mention this video. So mention the video, I'll even, I'll even give you some walleye spots if you want. So you book a boat, shoot me a message, I'll help you out. Uh, that's it, back home we've got a 30 second boat ride to the boat launch and uh, a one minute drive back to our house. So we will see you guys next time, thank you for watching.